build, we're gonna be building a house for a brand new couple in The Sims 4. I recently started a series on my channel called the Perfect Home Series, where I'm trying to build a perfect home for a specific Sims with everything they need for fun gameplay and things like that in The Sims 4. I've done the perfect 100 baby home already. I did a perfect family home. So I've been loving doing these lately, just kind of chilling and building with you guys while showing you some new items that you can use to enhance said gameplay. So today we're going to be doing a house for a new couple. It's going to be flirty. It's going to be romantic. Let's get into it. So this build today is going to be perfect for a new couple trying to find their first home. It's going to be a little bit on the smaller side. It's not going to be as big as the ones that I've been doing for the perfect family home. We'll maybe do a little second floor on top, but in terms of my shell, I don't think it's going to be too exciting. Maybe just like this. And while we build the exterior, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the couple that I'm moving in here because I do have one in mind. This is actually going to be for a famous couple here on my channel. You may recognize them from the Sims 4 reality house let's play that I put out on my channel recently. It's out in full. If you guys want to go watch it, go watch it. It's really good. This couple actually has a gothic kind of like punky, darker aesthetic. So yeah, it's going to be gothic vibes a little, but I want it to be like modern gothic, you know? This couple grew up in Mount Kemerebi, the world that comes with the Sims 4 Snowy Escape. So that's why I'm building here. I'm building on a 30 by 20 lot. So in this build, we're also going to have like snowy escape knickknacks. It's going to be a two bedroom, I think, maybe two bathrooms, but with room to grow. And I've actually done some research on items that are going to get your Sims in a flirty mood if you use them, starting with a tree. Apparently there's a cherry tree from the Sims 4 base game. Let's look it up. It's this one here and this one, and these give off romantic decor. I have been playing the Sims 4 for so freaking long and I had no idea about this. I'm also noticing they're lined around here too. So hopefully these are going to give off romantic vibes for your Sims with honestly no added effort. Like you don't have to do anything. It just these being around you are gonna get your Sims in that flirty mood. As I was doing my research, I actually came across a few different items that I had no idea gave off romantic auras. So I'm gonna be showing you a lot of those. Maybe you'll be surprised by some of them, maybe not. And this is already looking cute. I can bring in some flooring. Since this is a smaller home, I do wanna go very detailed on the exterior. So I'm gonna be using some flooring tricks. I'm gonna be bringing in a lot of landscaping, a lot of rose bushes and like red and pink flowers in this build. Actually, I was saying that the Sims 4 Snowy Escape would be very prevalent for my windows, but look at these here from My Wedding Stories, the new game pack that just came out. These are actually really cute. And with that metal over top of the window, I feel like this is giving off kind of a gothic vibe a little bit. And another item that I really wanna include back here is actually going to be a fire pit because apparently if your Sims get really cozy and they're in a happy mood and they cozy up by the fire, I like to make sure that I don't neglect the backyard. So what I'm gonna be adding is I think a hot tub. I wanna make sure that our couple is going to have, of course, a woohoo spot. That's gonna be another big part of this build. So I mean, you guys can figure those ones out for yourselves. I'm not gonna be explaining how it works and all of them, but the hot tub is one. <laughs> we could also get the bush, the anything goes party bush. I'm kind of like putting these things over here for now so that I don't forget about them because I really wanna make sure that I have all this stuff. So in the back here, some of my romantic items, I've got obviously the anything goes party bush. I have our fire pit over in the corner. I'm working currently on this little hot tub area because as we go, you're going to notice if you watch the Sims 4 Reality House series, little items that are gonna just make sense throughout the build. So in the comments, let me know if you spot any other ones that are gonna remind you of this series. I'm not gonna spoil anything really for this build, but I do wanna have little items that are gonna pay homage to how my couple met. And honestly, in a couple's home, they're gonna have stuff like that anyway. So this is gonna be very personalized while still being a perfect build for our Sims. In the front, I'm working on a little seating area. I'm gonna go in with these Snowy Escape plants, I think in the red swatch because I added one of the trees from Snowy Escape in that red swatch. And I feel like our landscaping is looking so pretty. I've been going in, like I said, with these like darker plants. This is Passion's Kiss in this like dark purple swatch, which I've never used. And I'm finding that really pretty combined with some of this, but I still wanna add in some more red. Like instead of just like separating all the landscaping like one by one and making it look like that, I kind of like to shove them into the bush sometimes. <laughs> also along this fence, by the way, this fence is from The Sims 4 Cottage Living. I've added this little garden space so our Sims can come out and kind of hang out in the front. Lately in my builds for some reason with my landscaping, I've been adding these little things from The Sims 4 get together. It's called the rectangle. There's also one like the stone circle. And I, I always put them like on top of my flooring. I feel like it just gives it 
a little bit of a more, just like a little extra something, you know what I mean? Something other than just having the flooring and I might bring it over here. It's like whenever I have any awkward space that I don't know what to do with, that's when I've been bringing in these like stone rectangles and it just kind of fills up your backyard when there's that extra space that you don't know what to do with. One last thing before we go on in the inside, I think I'm gonna be adding a VIP bucket. This is more of a well-known one. This is the VIP bucket from the Sims 4 base game. It's an unlockable item, but if you're just building or use cheats, then you can put it in your builds and it definitely gives off a romantic vibe. I use this a lot in my Let's Play. <laughs> so this is it for the exterior of our home. And then around the front, this is what we got going on so far. Let's go inside. I'm gonna show you what I've done with my layout in a little bit of a strategic kind of way. So like I said earlier, I want our Sims to have room to grow here. So I've done a walk-in area here. We've got our stairs. I actually really like how this layout turned out because I have a bedroom in the back. This could be a kid's room eventually, maybe. I don't think I'm gonna put a kid's room in today. So for now, I might just make it into like a dining room or something else for our Sims. But I did wanna have that ground floor option if they're gonna have like a toddler, they could put the baby room in there. And then I could do living room over on this area. I'm like showing you with my door. Living room over in this area. And then we can do a kitchen right there. And then upstairs, I wanted to do a his and her bathroom. So like one with two sinks, two like areas where our Sims can get ready. So that's gonna be what this is. It's gonna be a private bathroom just for the two of them. And then this is going to be, of course, our big bedroom where our couple is going to have their bedroom. So let's go downstairs and start in the kitchen. My wallpaper, by the way, is from The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. I want you to walk into this house and feel the romance like immediately. So it's going to be cozy with like cozy candles, cozy lighting. We can use some lanterns here from The Sims 4 Cottage Living, same as my fireplace. And one personal thing that I really wanna bring in here, I know Snowy Escape has rain chains. I'm gonna show you a little hack that I've done before on this channel a long time ago. I think it was in like my Zodiac sign builds or something, but this item here from The Sims 4 Snowy Escape is literally a rain chain. I think it's meant to be outside, Duh. but I like to put this in my interiors and raise up a lantern, which for this one, I'm gonna be using a black one from the Sims 4 My Wedding Stories. And we're gonna use Alt 9 on my keyboard and I'm gonna raise this up and make it look like it's connecting and hanging from the chain. I've done this with multiple different lanterns. You can do it with different kinds of lighting. You can even do it with hanging plants if you want to. Just connecting them right onto the bottom of the chain so that it looks like it's just hanging there. And again, this is gonna bring in that gothic vibe while keeping the romance. This is gonna set the stage for the entire interior here. We're gonna use some snowy escape chairs. I love the one with the blanket. That is so cute. Maybe I'll also get a snowy escape coffee table for the middle and then we'll pull it all together with a snowy escape couch kind of in the back. <laughs> So this is what I ended up doing for my living room. We've got all of those little features that I told you guys about. And I added a small pop of red with that dream home decorator bowl there. I wanna bring in red only a little bit into this build. I find sometimes when I'm building with black and red, it can look a little bit weird. Black and red is not really my favorite combination, but if it's done well, it can look really cute. And once I change the lighting in here and make it look a little bit more cozy, I really think it's gonna pop. So I'm gonna do my kitchen over here and I wanna utilize this window somehow. So I'm gonna get my counters first. I plan on cluttering this kitchen up pretty, pretty hard because of all of the clutter pieces that I wanna put. And there are some things that I found with romantic auras that I wanna include. And I'm gonna keep the snowy escape vibe going. I know they have some bar stools that I don't really use that often. So we'll bring these out. I'm gonna use these in... Wait a minute, maybe these are not what I'm thinking. Spade has one that's kind of similar, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think I wanna use this one instead. <laughs> so I've got all my essentials now. Now we're gonna clutter it up using as much debug stuff as I can find. <laughs> like romance, festival, bubble bottles. That can be kind of fun to put somewhere. For lighting, let's try Snowy Escape. I'm gonna use this one and that gives off the warm tone. So with a little more candles, I'm gonna delete these lights. That's gonna give off the vibe. And what I was talking about earlier, what I wanted to do was go in with a very basic shelf. I'm gonna use this one from The Sims 4 base game and I'm gonna line my windows with this. Right underneath, it actually goes on there perfectly. Didn't have to alt place or anything. But now, even though I have so much clutter space, now I have even more room to put little knickknacks and little cute things, which I've started to add. There's actually the ice cream machine. This is another thing that I did not know about for gameplay. You can make some ice cream called Twin Roses Ice Cream from this ice cream maker here. And apparently that gives your Sims in a flirty mood as 
well. I have some cookbooks down below. I have my VIP bucket, of course. And this is what my clutter is looking like in my kitchen. There's so much going on. I love it. Down here, I also added this stuff. I looked up flirty in the search bar and I found like these juice containers from the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. A can of seltzer that makes Sims flirty. Oh my God. This is, this is, <laughs> this is interesting. Definitely some fun gameplay to be had in this build. That's for sure. Okay, because I'm finding all these pantry items, I didn't really know what I wanted to do in this room over here yet. This could maybe be like replace the archway with a door and you've got yourself a kid's room or something. But since I've got so much pantry stuff and I'm finding all of these like flirty serums and potions and stuff, I feel like it would be really cool to make a pantry where it includes all of those things, but I don't really want to limit it to just a pantry. That's kind of boring. What if I made this sort of like unique dining space where it's set up to be like a restaurant kind of environment? Like, okay, hear me out. I love this item, but I never know how to use it. This is from, again, Snowy Escape. But in here, there's a lot of cool clutter. Like this looks like there's some records on there. One of the Sims that I'm building for is really into like punk music. So I can put a guitar in here. I'm gonna just gonna go with it. There's a dining swatch that I wanna use over here. This is a hidden gem, in my opinion. Under this dining table, there's this like swatch with all these stickers on it. It reminds me of like an underground sort of like restaurant slash bar. I'm also using a little build hack here full of these today. Um, This is from The Sims 4 Spooky Stuff. I love to shrink these down using the brackets on my keyboard and make little fairy lights. You just kind of combine them like this. I've used this hack in my builds before. Super cute little build hack for you guys. I love to do this one. We're gonna bring in the romance again. I'm gonna maybe add a candle on there and I can use the yin yang rug with maybe like a red circle rug as well. Since our Sims that live here are into music, I can add a little guitar and also you can use this to swoon your loved ones. You can of course serenade them and you know, do that. And then over here, I think is where I'm gonna put all of the like flirty items that I found, like the juice. Oh, this is for your animals. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, we're gonna raise this up. This is where I'm gonna put all of this stuff. By the way, if you're wondering about where to find this stuff, I do have debug on. I forgot to mention that. I've got bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects on. And that's where you can find all of this like canned stuff. You could also probably search it up on the gallery if you want like an easier way to find it. But this is going to be my little room in here, our storage room slash dining. Total cozy vibes with our snowy escape slash punk kind of aesthetic. I also added these bonsai trees, which I didn't know this either, but apparently if you shape this while your sim is flirty, then you can view the bonsai tree and get the flirty moodlet from it. And I put two, of course, so that our sims can do these together. I'm gonna spin around. I'm gonna do, I think, like a study area over here. I wanna go and get a bookshelf. We'll use that one there. I wanna fill this up again with some clutter items. I'll probably use a snowy escape desk as well. I don't really plan on putting this upstairs. This could probably be in a better place, but I feel like I don't wanna put it upstairs in the bedroom. That's gonna be a whole separate thing. So this is just gonna have to do, but we'll, we'll make it nice. I'm gonna give them a monitor, a second monitor. This is just a TV from Get to Work. We'll do a computer here. And I think I'm gonna take the same trick that I did for my kitchen with these. And I wanna put these around my windowsill again. I love the look of these cluttered up. So even if I just pause it there, it kind of looks nice with like the lines of everything. We're gonna do a snowy escape poof. And actually there's one from City Living. This one here, the pillow fluff. I'm gonna put this, maybe two here. These look so comfy and cozy. I always forget that we've got this like ottoman. So with all my clutter, this is what my study area is looking like. Things to note in this room over here. I've been using these a lot as my clutter. Again, from Debug, this is from The Sims 4, my wedding stories. It's a message in a bottle and it's a love poem. And then there's like a pledge of love. There's a bunch of different ones. So I thought it kind of looks cute. Just like the pink bottles, red bottles is clutter. These are called flirty shoes. So I put those there. I've got my bubbles from the romance festival, some love cards from The Sims 4 seasons. And that's really it for this area. I don't think there's anything else I used giving off the romantic aura, but this is going to be our bottom floor. I do still have to do a bathroom. I did do a hallway area. There's nothing really exciting in here at all. Um, so I didn't show it on camera, but I just filled it up with some cute dream home decorator, like hallway stuff. And for the bathroom, okay. So we definitely 
definitely need showers in here because again, we need the woohoo spot. So I tried to make this bathroom a little bigger than I normally do. I wanna fit both a shower and a bathtub in here. And upstairs is gonna be the same, like lots of space in the bathroom. So we can do a shower there and like bathtub here. That one is the Gothic style from Cottage Living. I want roses and candles in here. I'm searching for this. This is from Vampires. I'll put that there. My sink and toilet can go on this wall. Ooh, this is nice from Get Together. That kind of matches. And I'm pretty sure I can get a mirror. This one looks so pretty in that black swatch. Now we just need a toilet. I want to use this picture, but I want the frame to match this mirror. I want it to be fancy and bougie. So I'm going to go under decorations. We're going to scroll down and find this picture of Vlad. Okay, hear me out. I am not putting a picture of Vlad in my perfect couple home build. Okay, I'm going to shrink this down so that it's going to match. And we're going to use this as a frame. So now it looks a little bit more fancy, more gothic. And the final thing I want to put in here before we move on and go upstairs to the bedroom, I want to use a shelf. I'm looking for the one from The Sims 4 Paranormal. This one here, and then we're gonna stack this up with candles. I do not want this harsh lighting in here. Candles all the way, let's see what we can find. And if you know, if you did watch The Sims 4 Reality House, you know that the Sims that I'm building for are also a little bit like extra and bougie and just fabulous. So I'm really trying to pull that into this build as well. So with all the clutter, this is what our bathroom is looking like. We've got obviously our wahoo spot in the shower, but we've also got our cute little decorations and our warm cozy vibes. Let's go upstairs. I think we're ready to do the bedroom. So I'm gonna bring my flooring in. This one that I was using was from The Sims 4 Equal Lifestyle. Oh, I just realized I forgot to change my flooring down here. We need some tile. Let's just use this basic one there from base game. And upstairs, I think I'm going to embrace the bouge. I'm looking for The Sims 4 Vintage Glamour wallpaper. Ooh, we can do marble dine out flooring. I wanna do a double sink moment so we're not fighting over the sink. I'm actually in the process of starting to look for a house and this is what I want. Two sinks, oh please, or a bathtub. You know what, I don't even have one of those. I'll settle for that first. We can do one mirror in the middle so that that kind of fits there. Downstairs, I used some vintage glamour curtains as well as the snowy escape ones. So let's bring these up to the bedroom. And then again, I should be able to fit a shower and a toilet on this side. So we'll do shower there, toilet there. And then on this side, I can definitely fit another bathtub. So we're going to be covered for bathrooms on this, which is great too, because if we did want to expand the family, then there's going to be more room for you to do that. So this is going to be our his and hers bathroom. And then finally for the bedroom, let's go ahead and find a bed. I have one in mind, but I don't know if it's going to be too much. I want to use the vampire bed. This bed is beautiful, but it is obviously a lot. But I think if I use like the black and white like that, then maybe we could get away with it with like a rug underneath. I think I'm going to use these end tables here by paranormal stuff with the paranormal stuff rug underneath. And oh yeah, this is going to be a lot for sure. I think I'm going to put this vanity over here from Cottage Living. That, that definitely fits the Sim that I want to put in here. She's very vain, but like in a lovable way. <laughs> and I also want to make sure that I put a TV in here because if your Sims watch TV, like watch the romantic channel together, they can get flirty. So that's another way that I'm going to be putting into the bedroom. One of the ways to get romantic. Okay, I added this base game chair and I never noticed these gold details matching this mirror, but that looks really cute together. I've got my dresser here in this black swatch from Cottage Living. And for clutter, I feel like I need some color in here. So I'm going to go to my wedding stories again. I know in this pack, we've got some really pretty swatches with flowers. So let's use that with the black in there. That looks so pretty, the black and purple. Oh, we could also use this in the black and purple swatch too. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I need to build a wedding venue. I need like a goth wedding venue. You guys have been asking for that in my comments. So let me know if that's something that you want to see. I'm going to continue with this like black and pink swatch stuff. More lanterns, of course, on our dresser. And this is what our bedroom is looking like. So I'm going to move my couple in. I've also done just like this little laundry hallway area. I'm going to move my couple in and we are going to go and do our walkthrough officially for the perfect Sims 4 couple home. You guys, I cannot deal. Look how freaking cute this is. I'm, oh my God, I'm dying. Okay. Oh, I just had to show you. Okay. Carry on. This couple is just moving into their new home together, about to start their new life in the house we've set up for them. Oh my God. And look at that. They're already feeling flirty, but this is what our home ended up looking like. I love how we're sitting on the river here in Mount Kamarabi. Of course, in the back here, we've got our little fire pit. Our Sims can come and hang out back here right under the cherry blossom tree. Not a fire hazard. It's fine. Let's bring our Sims 
items inside and see how they like the interior. So coming in our, oh my God, he really likes it. So coming in our very cluttered and personalized kitchen here. So cute, they're going automatically over to their bonsai trees together. Actually, Rain is flirty, so she's gonna end up with the flirty bonsai tree. Our study area over here with our bookshelf. And of course, our little dining space where our Sims can come for a little privacy. Okay, these bonsai trees made a big mess, but let's go upstairs and see the bedroom. So up the stairs and through our laundry room, we have our bedroom. A little bit extra, I will say, but very cozy and just the right amount of extra in this bedroom. I really do think our couple is gonna be very happy here. I'm so excited for them. Maybe in the future, we can build them a bigger home, but for now, that is it for our Sims 4 build. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This will be on the gallery if you wanna download it under Sydney Macarota. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.